Greetings YouTube and welcome to another crystal opening commentary today brought to you by Net Spider. I've been working with him behind the scenes to get all of his videos into one video. So I think we've got multiple crystal openings in this one video. Thank you Net Spider for working with me and being patient because yes, this does involve your July 4th openings and all of the crystals that were in it. So, it looks like we have a number of six stars, maybe some five stars, maybe maybe featured. And I'm shocked that he's doing this, but he's starting out with the Nexus. Normally, that's like the dessert of the crystal opening. You save that till the end of the meal. But uh, we'll see how it goes. First Nexus is Mr. Sinister Electro and Vegan Thor. Ooh. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people would be tempted to do Vegan Thor, and he might be too, but I'd go Electro. He's a trophy champ. I like fighting with Electro. Wish he wasn't so much a glass cannon. And hey, he changed his mind from Vegan Thor to Electro. Well, there you go. There it is. And the second crystal is Corvus. What? Oh, or Captain America Infinity War. I think the majority of people would go with Corvus. But but curiously, I, I do think some people might do the Captain Bay strategy with his Captain America Infinity War. Shout out to Captain Bay, my good friend. Great content uh, channel over there for MCOC. He is debating whether or not to use his six-star generic Awakening Gem on... Uh, oh, and Aegon! Woo! That's a, that's a great crystal. Masakura and Venom Duck are also great. But Aegon... Now, that is one-third of the puzzle. You gotta get the champion. You gotta awaken the champion. And you gotta get that champion to as high a sig as possible. And outside of July 3rd slash 4th weekend and Cyber Weekend... Those six star six stones are crazy expensive. So it takes a while. But hey, congratulations. All right, now seven six stars on the horizon? Unless he adds more into this. We'll see. All right, if I was to open seven six stars, I would hope for one maximum realistically of two six star champions that I would no doubt take to rank two. That list is pretty dang small. And Mr. Sinister is not on it. He is not sinister enough to make that rank two list. Too much of a mister. Other puns. I, uh... Yeah, he's not on it. All right, Black Widow is on it. Clairvoyant. Uh, Captain Marvel, the movie is on it. The OG, not so much. Don't get me wrong. This champion is enjoyable to play, particularly Awakened. But in the current state of the game, you just can't justify taking the OG Captain Marvel to rank 2 when you know that the new movie version is way better. Are you going for a featured 6-star now? I do not recommend this at all. I'm sure there's somebody in this crystal that he really wants. Maybe it's Human Torch. But... You've got to realize there are just too many misses. Hopefully it'll improve in the next rendition like the 5-star featured greatly did. Darkhawk would be worth it, but Hulk is not. Now, I do think he is so uh, forgotten at this point that he is both underrated and overlooked. But he's not worth 15,000 6-star shards. There's just no way. Okay, so now, did we just see a small transition into another video? I think we might have. Because we do indeed have another Nexus Crystal Went back to the July 4th spending well. And let's see if this one is as good as his last two. Probably not. Psylocke, Civil War, or Nova? Absolutely not. Nova is probably the choice here. But someday I dream of living in a world where we see Civil Warrior. We think, yes, Civil Warrior. And not, oh, Civil War. All right, well, you have to think after back-to-back -back nexus crystals that result in Aegon and Corvus, you're going to have an off crystal. That's just just math. All right, we got a five-star featured crystal. Speaking of an improved crystal, and uh, this is indeed a new video because he has added in some more six-star shards with new purchases, I'm guessing related to the six-star nexus crystal. And Iceman would have been great. Medusa would have been great. Now, Terax is an interesting choice. I don't know anybody that uses this guy, but whenever I use him, I think he's kind of fun to play with. And whenever I fight him, I think, huh, I kind of suck at fighting this guy. So he's got utility. I enjoy him, but I just think 
in in this game with so many good champions out there now, he's not going to be somebody that you'll really target to rank up. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you've got the Terax Slayer out there who's like, Prof, he's my favorite champion. What are you talking about? How dare you disrespect my bay? But until I meet that person, I'm just going to continue to say that. All right. So the last two six-star basics did not go well, Mr. Sinister and Captain Marvel. OG, but it just takes one six-star to turn it all around. This is the crystal I got Dr. Doom on July 4th weekend, which is crazy, to have better luck on the basic than Nexus, and that's exactly what happened. Agent Venom, stop! Yes! Not Ghost any longer. That's a true screenshot nominee if he chooses, and he does. Right on cue. That is one of those champions that you just hunt for maybe forever as a six-star. Now, don't get me wrong. Ghost has the most learning curve in terms of learning how to really play this champion well, even more than Quake. But, uh, boy, she is worth it when you get that gameplay down. And Captain Marvel movie! Oh, okay, that time we had a troll roll. And Hood's another champion that, you know, some people might be tempted to take to rank two, and it wouldn't be the worst decision ever, but compare that to Doctor Doom, right? Like, why would you ever spend those precious resources using Hood when you can save for somebody better? Even somebody like Longshot, right? Same class. Okay, he's backing out. Maybe he just needs to reset his mojo, even though he just got... Well, I guess uh, he just got Hood, but I was going to say he recently got Ghost. All right, here we go. Wow, double Dagon, too. And Void! Oh, no! That is the worst troll roll I've seen in a while. Void or Omega Red instead he goes World War II on us and doesn't even show us if it's a first time dupe because he didn't care. He is a little bit annoyed. Suddenly backing out only made him have the worst crystal he has had luck wise in terms of that troll roll. Wow. Well, bud, you win some, you lose some. What can I say? Now it is time. It is time to, to just shake off that bad roll and go with a much, much, hopefully, better crystal. Here we go. Maybe Void and Omega Red will magically return and not be rolled over this time. Survey says... What? Yes! Sorry, headphone users, but that is the opposite of a troll roll. He got Aegon twice in that opening. Now, that is the dream. Realistic. You get Corvus and you get two Aegons. The only thing missing is Doctor Doom in this room. You got Ghost as well. Let's not forget that. Net Spider. No wonder why you have been uh, casually reminding me, kindly reminding me, that I have not commentated your opening. Again, I don't know why you're backing out so much. You got egg on. Just stick to what works. But hey, everybody's got their own traditions. So you do you, buddy. All right. Um, how are you going to follow up a dupe of Aegon that you just got in a Nexus? Wow. What's up, Heimdall? Ghost again. And... <laughs> Every six-star roster is not complete without Groot. I really do think there's going to be a day, hopefully in the next year, that we get excited about owning Groot. He's just too popular of a champion in the Marvel contest of champions, the Marvel, the MCU lore, to be as bad as he is damage output-wise. But until that happens, he's going to be a huge miss in somebody that usually inspires rage. And I'm not talking about that BS node. All right, Cole or Drax? It's a Guardians of the Galaxy party here. Drax is a champion that used to be really good in Alliance Quest Map 5 because Mordo was that boss for a while, and he just bypassed Mordo's Astro Evade like nothing else. But unfortunately, Kabam did this shady thing where they lied to us about frame rate and said that Drax wasn't even uh, somebody that countered that in the first place, which was absolutely not the case. And ever since then, I don't know too many people other than my boy, Miles Homewood, who uh, I used to be in an awesome alliance with, who uses Drax. I'll have to ask him if he still uses Drax. I haven't talked to him in a while. Random time to bring him up in a video, but Miles, what's up? Shout out to you. Uh, speaking of Miles, boy, you can't make that up. I did not know that was coming. As always, this is a first-time commentary. 
talk about a man named Miles and then end with a crystal with a Miles Morales. That is fascinating. Uh, wow. Is he going to open the five stars or is he just going to say screw it? Let's just end with those six star premiums. I guess he's going to say end with the six star premiums because that is it. Well, thank you, Net Spider. Uh, this crystal opening was brought to you by Aegon, but I also think the question that could be the title of this video is Corvus or Captain America Infinity War? A Nexus choice. I don't know which one I'll go with. Obviously, you do because you clicked on the video. Thanks for clicking on the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Time to end it here. As always, thanks for watching. And thank you to NetSpider for submitting the crystal opening to commentate.